Everyone in the team works so hard to transform the swimming pool. Hi everyone, my name is Aida Ziori and I'm a designer at Silax Design and Construction. Today I'm going to take you through the design and construction process of the swimming pool. I've started with changing the floor plan by removing some walls and adding some walls. I managed to add shower and bathroom. I also added a change room with built-in cabinet for towels, clothes, and enough storage for pool toys. I also added a dry sauna. I am a big fan of high ceiling and large windows and doors, and I wanted to increase the height of the area as much as possible. I wanted to be able to open the doors and see the view without any interruption, and that required a beam for support. The house is located on a very high slope side and we had to bring the crane to carry the beam to the house. There was no other way around it. The distance from the street to the house was approximately around 100 feet and that was a lot of work. Our structural engineer calculated the size of the beam based on the loads and then we installed it. The doors and the windows of the swimming pool are all made of smart glass. Smart glass is a type of glass that can become opaque with only one click. With one click, you can control the transparency of the glass, so there is no need for blinds or shades. We have control four system installed in each area of this house, including the swimming pool. Control 4 system is a smart automation system that controls lighting, entertainment, security, and also energy. On the swimming pool ceiling, I use fiber optic lights. The lights travel through the cable and the source of the light is in a separate location. We custom painted the ceiling to look like the sky and this fiber optic lights twinkles like stars. I added two stand showers so the client can shower quickly before they go to swim. The slope on the floor of the shower has been done somehow that the water doesn't go to the swimming pool. The tile behind the shower area has the wave pattern to mimic the water wave. We added a TV with built-in speakers in the pool area so the client can relax in a hot tub and watch TV at the same time. For the feature wall, I used two slab of quartzite from Italy called Amazonite and I have a built-in strip LED light around it. Bringing these slabs to the site was quite a bit of work because of the slope of the site. In the sauna, we have built-in handmade Himalayan salt with LED behind it. The color of LED lights are changeable so the client can adjust them based on their mood. Having Himalayan salt in the sauna has a lot of benefit. Breathing in Himalayan salt air can improve the natural ability to decrease the inflammation, fight colds, and the list of benefits are endless. The sauna also made of cedar wood and that creates amazing aroma in the space. I've used mesh tile around the columns and I went with iridescent creamy tone and I accented it with a matte gold, just a small amount though. For the swimming pool and top area, I used two tones of the tile that has more aqua and blue tones. We also redid the backyard, so when you open the swimming pool doors, it looks clean and nice. We had a solid granite stone fire pit brought into the site. This granite weighed around 2 tons and bringing it to the site was a lot of work. Overall, I think everything came together very nicely and I'm hoping you like it too. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.